I started the evening by telling him that he looked a bit fat. And he explained that. He said, well, every time I bone your missus, she gives me a donut slut. You see, that's how we were. Him and me, him and us. Friendly banter and the odd over-the-top cuss. Loads of bravado, but no false pretense. And all of our jokes at no one else's expense. And tonight, well, we were trying to cheer him up. The only way we knew we could, with Jaeger bombs and tequilas. Anything with alcohol was good. Hell, they'd done it for me with Tosa. Screw her. She's a tart. And they were fully aware of my broken heart. They never laughed when I was acting stupid or complained when I was stressed. They picked me up and sat me down when I was a drunken mess. Anyway, I digress. Tonight, I had on my supportive hat. I told him, ah, she looked like she apple bobbed in chip fat. And he laughed at that. You see, that's how we were. Him and me, him and us. Friendly banter and the odd over-the-top cuss. Loads of bravado. But no false pretense on all of our jokes at no one else's expense. Maybe it's because we were blokes that we didn't show emotion. But I'm sure that through the commotion you could see that we cared. My mate stared into space. Blank look on his face. That's how I knew no amount of cheap shots and bravado could change his mood. Switch tactics. Say something crude. Because that's how we were. Him and me, him and us, friendly banter and the odd over-the-top cuss, loads of bravado, but no false pretense on all of our jokes at no one else's expense. That night my mate found salvation in whiskey and pills. The text saying I'm sorry still gives me the chills. But last night, a memory I remember with a blur. Should I have said something different? Now that's just how we were. You know, I was angry at first. What could I have said? Would it have made a difference so he'd be breathing instead? Maybe among the cussing and the bravado on that day, I should have said, I'd miss you, dude. But he probably would have called me a gay.